To the scene of the nation's latest mass shooting where a manhunt is underway. Police have named a person of interest in the killings of at least 22 people in May. CBS News correspondent Laura Hayfley is live in Lewiston this morning. Laura, uh, thank you very much for joining us and good morning to you. What are the uh, newest developments uh, at this hour? Good morning, Wisdom. Yeah, this is a complicated and evolving situation right now. Police, law enforcement officials are still looking for that person of interest, Robert Card. And because of his history, there is a significant police presence in the town of Lewiston. I want to show you an example of that right now. There are heavily armed law enforcement officials standing outside of uh, main medical center here. This is where a number of the victims are being treated. This is not just the only example. The town of Lewiston, the nearby town of Lisbon, both under shelter in place orders uh, until this person of interest, Robert Card, gets found. Now, we're learning a little bit more about the 40 year old to, uh, this morning. One of those things is that he is a military trained firearm instructor. He is an army reservist and he has a reported history of mental illness. So in the coming days, there will be questions about how he was able to get a firearm. Um, until then, of course, victims here uh, getting treatment from medical staff. The hospital has brought in uh, on call personnel. They're doing everything they can to support victims and their families. Again, they are surrounded by law enforcement officials while officials work to track down Robert Card. There's a, a kid's party at this bowling alley. Uh, do we have we been able to confirm that? Do we have inter, any information on that? Is that accurate? So there were two shooting scenes last night when this happened. The first was at a bar. The second was at that bowling alley. Those two scenes are only a few miles apart. Now, Lewiston is not a huge town. Uh, there are college students here. There are neighbors. It's heavily wooded, so it's not an incredibly populated place. But we're hearing that those two locations are a popular place for people to be, even on weeknights. Um, and again, just the level of devastation uh, is truly incredible here. We don't have exact numbers from law enforcement yet. They're keeping that very close to the vest. In fact, they don't plan on updating us until 1030 this morning, uh, which presumably uh, says that they are working to gather all of the evidence they can before releasing it to the public. All right, Laura, thank you very much uh, for your time this morning and giving us the latest information in this shooting.